my colleagues are from the National Gastro Foundation, and this month is National Gastro Awareness Month. So we would like to bring your attention to it. You can help donate to help find a cure at 877-649-2742. Gastric disease is an enzyme disorder. An enzyme is a biological catalyst which lowers the amount of energy needed for a reaction to occur. Gastric disease affects the enzyme glucose cerebrosidase, which breaks down glucose cerebrosidase, a type of lipid. Symptoms of gastric disease include, but are not limited to, bone pain slash fractures, cognitive impairment, easy bruising, enlarged spleen and or liver, fatigue, heart rate complications, lung disease, seizures, severe swelling at birth, skin change, or a swollen belly. Males and females equally contract Gottschalk's disease. 10,000 people are affected worldwide by this disease, and in order to get it, both of your parents have to have a recessive gene tree of it to give it to you, so therefore it is a genetic disease. You're most likely to contract it if you're an Eastern European Jew with one out of 450 of these culture group you're getting it. Conditions known to correlate with Gaucher's disease include growth delay in children or increased risk in contracting diseases such as Parkinson's or types of cancers including leukemia or lymphoma. If you fall in the aforementioned ethnic group or want to get yourself tested because you're exhibiting symptoms, here are tests you can take. Blood tests to check enzyme activity, bone marrow aspirations, spleen biopsy, MRI, CT scan, skeletal x-ray, or genetic testing. Of the three types, type 2 is the most lethal, mostly found in infants. Most infants with this disease are likely to be dead by their second birthday. Type 1 is most common but is not very dangerous and found mostly in teens. Type 2, type 2 is very lethal and is found predominantly in infants and it primarily affects the brain and spinal cord. Type 3 is similar to type 2 but is not as dangerous because it shows up later in childhood. There is no found cure. Treatments for types 1 and 3 include medicine and enzyme replacement therapy which is usually very effective. There are no treatments for the brain damage in types 2 and 3. Bone marrow transplants are available in extreme places.